and cut on that. Do you want to take a little potty break before we get to uh, Bunny Versus? Nah, let's just go ahead. Okay. No, I'm good. Thank you, though. Thank you. A bit of dead name me on the podcast. I, it's it's fine I, for most people. I don't care if they dead name me because like I get I've been I've been Steve for like forty plus years. If it's someone I care about, if like Max just says you know hey dad oh hey on the mother it's like okay that's fine I'm not going to be upset about it. If it's someone that I don't entirely love that that's going to piss me off, you know. No, I. You, you, if you say husband and then correct it to wife, I'll be like, that's fine. If, uh, say, a relative of yours that I don't know that well says, hey, Steve, how's it going? Hey, why don't you get his present? I'm going to be pissed off. Speaking of, Bunny. Yes. Well, Are no, you ready? just before we leave that, me, me personally. I'm calling you Steve, and I'm calling you he, him, because that's the last that's thing fine. you told me. Yeah, When you because... choose to tell me something different, then that's what I'll do. And that's because it's... I specifically told you <laughs> that I am Reverend Steve when I am doing this podcast. I am Mr. Steve when I'm recording a video for kids on my YouTube channel. And the rest of the time, I'm May Lynn. So if you still call me Steve and still say he, him, that's fine. Because I'm Steve right now. Well, I'm just pushing it back into your lap where you, when you decide different, then you tell okay. me different, and then okay. different becomes whatever. Yeah, but I, I'm, st I'm still fine with being Steve right now. Because I feel that like I, I'm not. I'm not sweating the pronouns. Yeah. As long as it's someone that I uh, care about. So there you go, Bunny. Are you ready for another exciting, pulse-pounding, heart-stopping, uh, uh, genre-defining, uh, 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 crotch-vibrating uh, intestine? clogging installment of Bunny Versus, our free-form, uh, off-the-rails discussion of whatever we want. Are you ready? Are you pumped? Are you amped? Are you jazzed? Are you psyched? Are you primed? Are you revved up? Are you ready to go? Do you have your motor running? Are you ready to take that hill? Yes, I back? am. <laughs> okay. Well, then, without any further ado... Thanks, Eleanor. It's time once again for Bunny Versus, and now here is your host, Bonnie Williams, take it away, buddy! I, I went out, like, for real. Yeah? Not my, not my, I have to go get more drugs run. <laughs> yeah? Or, well, that's frankly about it. <laughs> nice, what, what'd you do? I had to. I had to do it. I had to. I, I had to go see Spider Man. Oh, nice! Yeah, Spider Man. Love that movie. So, I, I'm not sure if I am loving it as much as everyone else. Yes, I did love it, but like, hands down, favorite Marvel movie, which I'm hearing quite a bit of, that kind of. I'm I'm not completely sold on that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like I did love it. I did love it. Let's be clear. Okay? But the whole premise of the movie of everybody knowing he's Spider-Man and everything, like that wound up being like really throwaway. Yeah. Originally they weren't sure, Sony wasn't sure if they hadn't yet reached an agreement about Spider-Man continuing in the MCU. So when they first started Spider-Man 3, they were preparing for it to be 
in the Spider-Man Sony universe with no mention of the MCU. So originally, it was going to focus solely on everyone knows I'm Peter Parker, and because he's the most famous person in the world, it was going to feature one villain, Craven, the goddamn hunter who starts hunting him, and it was going to be Craven's last hunt. Yeah. Done as Spider Man 3. But then finally, they're like, oh shit, so we have reached an agreement with Marvel? Shit, let's put it all in. Yeah. But I don't know, I kind of would have liked to have seen it be more of a focus on, oh shit, everyone knows who I am, what do I do now? Yeah. And, and like, it was great to see Matt Murdock. It really was. Very exciting. Yeah. Spoiler alert, everybody. Spoiler alert. But that was, yeah, spoiler alert. But that was also completely throwaway. It was. It was only for, like, this, like, five seconds. Yeah. Yeah. So, hands down favorite? No, it, it, had, it, had, some, it had some problems. It had some rough spots. Uh, I don't know if I could blame the movie for the bullshit trailer Marvel threw us. I'm upset that I have to watch all of What If now. Yeah. Yeah. What if I, I, ha- I watched know. What If? It's fun. I did not watch that, but the character at the end of the trailer that plays at the end of Spider-Man 3 definitely shows a What If character brought to life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's like, shit, I gotta watch What If. I, ha- I hadn't watched any of What If. Maxwell was sitting on the floor of the living room watching it on TV, and I was here in my workspace, and I just ha- happened to vicariously watch like half of one episode where Doctor Strange was killing everyone. So I was able to watch that trailer and go, shit, I gotta watch all of What If now. Because, like, god damn, yeah. they're going to be throwing me, like, uh, Captain Britain Peggy Carter in, like, an upcoming fucking Marvel movie or some shit like that, and now i got to be prepared. Yeah. God damn it. I'm surprised that in 2021, where we're still in a pandemic, we got so much fucking Marvel shit in one year. Like, we got fucking WandaVision, fucking yeah. Loki, fucking Shang-Chi, fucking uh, Black Widow, fucking Eternals, fucking Spider-Man, fucking Falcon and Winter Soldier, which had its moments. Like, yeah, we got a lot of fucking Marvel shit this year. God damn. Yeah. But we're hungry for the big ones. Yeah. Yeah. And it's weird because, like, Shang-Chi was good, and I liked Spider-Man, but the other Marvel movies made me feel like, damn, I think right now Marvel TV shows have a better track record than some of these Marvel movies. And, and can we please stop calling these season one and have people start talking about, ooh, season two, like... I don't know. Let's just do it and be done, because that's the comic well, way. They are working on more Loki. That's the only one that has said, like, hey. But then make that a different show. Yeah, don't make they it have Loki said, like, season two. That's the only one that they've said, like, Loki will appear and se- will return in season two, but it's like. Okay, but I don't think we're getting season two of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I don't think we're getting season two of WandaVision. I don't think we're getting season two of Hawkeye, which I loved. Hawkeye? Fucking love Hawkeye, yeah. I, I just I got it. I haven't started watching it yet. Fucking love that. Absolutely loved Hawkeye. Fun as hell. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm opening the beginning of every... Storytime video for a while is going to be uh, Florence Pugh's character from Black Widow saying, Hi! That's going to be the opening to my videos for a while. <laughs> it's, it's only like two seconds. And I'm just going to be using that for a while, for as long as I can get away with it. Yeah. 
So I'm happy with that. That was a fun show. Yeah. yeah. What if it was fun? And what if what if it was also bite sized? They're only a half hour. I it, the weird thing is that what if was always one of my favorite comic books, but when the cartoon came along, I'm just like I don't know, but. I'm not in a rush to see this, and I wasn't sure why, because I was a huge fan of the comic books. Oh, I love that. I love the What If comic book, because it's like, oh, you pick up an Avengers, it's like, good luck finding out what time frame you're in, because there's a thousand issues of this comic book. Yeah. And the same thing with Spider-Man, and then there was a period from, like, the 70s to the 90s where it's like, you pick up a Spider-Man comic, and congratulations. This is, part, this is part four of, like, a 30-part series that spawns the five different Spider-Man comics. Yeah. And it's like, to know what happened before this, pick up Web of Spider-Man number 384. To find out what happens after, get Spectacular Spider-Man number 386. And it's like, fuck! But you could get a what-if or a Marvel team-up. You get one story, and you're good. Yeah. So I loved those, but when What If came along, I'm like, ah, I don't know. This doesn't seem important. But, but I... now that I see the trailer for the new Doctor Strange, it's like, shit, What If is important. Now i got to sit down and watch this fucking thing. Oh. Uh... I mean, it seems like it's a it's a test bed kind of a yeah. thing, you know? Yeah. Where yeah, yeah you you could try any kind of weird ass shit. Both the comic and the cartoon, I think they kind of share this. Yeah. Whether it winds up feeding into other things, uh, we're gonna see. I guess it's a matter of how popular it is. Yeah. I don't know. I, don't I would know. still love a live-action Marvel Zombies. Yeah. Eh. I never liked the Marvel Zombie car uh, comics. I, would, I read some of them, but I don't know. It, it just felt like the Marvel Zombies, where zombies were popular, were putting them in Marvel somehow. Yeah. You know? And, and, and that's what like, it needs to be, though. Come on. What's it need to be? Yeah but I felt that it was like a product of its time. And it's like The Walking Dead is everywhere. Eating people. Yeah, I, they did appear at, at Disney. They, there was a zombie Captain America at the Disney theme parks <coughs> during Halloween. Yeah. Because in Disney's California Adventure, they have a Marvel Avengers campus part of that theme park. And during Halloween... They had Agatha Harkness from WandaVision, and they also had Captain America zombie show up. I thought that was awesome. Cool. Uh, yes. Cool. Yes, 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 yes. So, so that is it. That's what I report. I went out, and there were people out there, and I still don't like them. People... There you go, it should be casting. Uh, so, we had a lot of people over for Christmas. Yeah? Yeah. That was surprising, especially since last year, no one was over for Christmas, because we were still in the pandemic, and we had just gotten over getting the freaking coronavirus. But this year, we had a lot of people over for Christmas. They were all vaccinated, you know... Emerald came over with Jeremy, who she's living with. They were both over. Jeremy is starting to walk. He can walk a little bit without crutches, and his cool. eye doesn't have that messed up, and, you know, he's getting... Side. He's getting back to normal. And then Amber was over with his boyfriend, John, her boyfriend, Jonathan. Good kid. Uh, he got me a Star Wars makeup kit. Amber's not here? Is Amber, Amber's not here? No. Okay, great. Amber's boyfriend, Jonathan, is super into Star Wars, and he came, it, when he first started coming over to the house, 
he noticed that in my crazy insane background, I had some Star Wars stuff. I have this super expensive uh, lightsaber that was gifted to me. And he's like, oh, you like Star Wars? Okay, let's talk about The Mandalorian. What do you think about this new series they're going to start up? Have you read this book? Have you played this video game? And I'm like, shit. How do I break it to him that I like the first three movies and maybe Rogue One, and after that, I don't give a fuck about Star Wars. How do I have this book? That I like everything that was done in Star Wars prior to 1998. How do I have this conversation with this boy? So yeah. I've just been pre- kind of sort of pretending to be into Star Wars, but he did the he did the nicest thing, and he got me a Star Wars makeup set. Yeah. Not even for Christmas. He just gave it to me. It, 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 it's uh, all of these makeup brushes for Mei Lin, and each one is a lightsaber, and one of them for like your fa- to put on your foundation. It's a Darth Vader's lightsaber, and it lights up as you're putting your makeup on. Yeah. And it's like, oh, you're, he's a real nice freaking kid. And it's weird because, like, he started calling me dad when he comes over. And, mm-hmm. it, it, and then when I came out, he started calling me other mother. And when he first did that, I'm like, this is really weird, but after like the the second time, I stopped giving a shit. He's like a member of the family, and he's really nice, and I really like the boy. He he's yeah. he's really nice, and he was over, and then Day came over. Uh, my niece, former my nephew, yeah. nephew, former. Nibbling, now nephew, and Christian, and then uh, Jaden, cousin Jaden came over, and, and it was just like a big family Christmas gathering, and, and that was surprising, but it was really good, and it was very special to me because it was my first uh, Christmas as a woman, and uh, every year, my parents send the kids cards, and there's money in the cards, and they send some money for me and maybe a few presents that they've picked up in, like, Mexico or whatever for the kids. And they always send us a big Christmas present. They always send us a little bit of money. They always send the kids cards every Christmas, every single solitary Christmas. But, like, a month or two ago, I was high, (laughs) and I sent my parents some pictures of the kids, and they always liked that. Here's a picture of uh, Max and Eleanor. Here's a picture of Mal and Amber. Here's a picture of Emerald. And then I was high, and I'm like, fuck it. Here's a picture of me in my best dress and makeup on. And after that, they stopped talking to me. Yeah. Again. And so it was Emerald's (coughs) birthday, and Emerald was here. And Emerald was opening presents, and I was taking pictures of Emerald, and I thought... If I send my parents a picture of Emerald and put, it's Emerald's birthday today, they will have to talk to me. And so I did that. I sent Emerald, I sent uh, my parents a picture of Emerald. And my parents said, oh, tell Emerald we say happy birthday. We can't send you anything this year, but maybe next year. Have a happy, Merry Christmas. And that was the last I've heard of my parents. (laughs) I'm pretty sure they're not sending me anything because I'm in a dress this year. Yeah. But whatever. On Christmas Eve, my wife and I had to go out and run some errands. And I, 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 I was all done up, all nice. I had a nice outfit on, and I had done my hair, and I did my makeup. I shaved, and I looked really good. I put some some perfume on. I smelled really good, and I was looking all good, and I had my purse on and my boobs on, and I was looking great, and I was feeling like a woman. And we went to buy some stuff and to buy some, like, stocking stuffers. And while we're there, the woman is at the register is just like, here you go, ma'am, to my wife. And then it's like, oh. Uh, here's your card back, sir, to me. 
And it just really put me in this funk that I got misgendered at the store. And, and I was just really upset about that. And it's just frustrating because when I am male presenting and I'm out, hey, I got to run to the store and pick up some, some milk. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to get dressed up. I'm just going to go, uh, you know, if male present to the store. That's going to be fine. So I go and... I, I don't have my boobs in. I don't have makeup on. My hair's all ratty. I'm wearing like a, like a, just some random t-shirt. And I go out and I, I want to get past this old guy, you know, at the supermarket. And the guy says, oh, I'm, I'm very sorry, ma'am. Here you go, ma'am. Have a, have a great day, ma'am. And I'm like, fuck, but I'm male presenting right now. Stop calling me ma'am. But then I go, okay. Well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my makeup on and my boobs on and, and a nice necklace, and I'm going to look great, and I'm going to go out, and everyone gives me cert, and it pisses me the fuck off. Choose a gender for me, you fucks. <laughs> it, it's just so fucking frustrating. And then we come home, and my father-in-law is here with his husband. Yeah. Yeah. And he came out as gay, finally, a few years ago, and he married his boyfriend, and I'm happy that my father-in-law is living his truth, finally. And I support him and his marriage. I support my father-in-law and my other father-in-law. My father's-in-law. But it feels like he's pretty transphobic. They were at home, and, they're, and, and I'm there with my boobs and my makeup, and I'm looking all good. I got my scrunchie on my wrist. I got a yeah. nice necklace on, and they're like, so, Steve, how you doing? And it's like, bitch, I know you know my name is May Lynn. Fuck you. Yeah. God damn it. It's so upsetting. And then they're like, oh, oh, where's Gizmo? Oh, Gizmo's in their room. Well, get her out here. And it's like, don't say that to Mal either. Fuck. And, and it's like, you want everyone to be supportive of your lifestyle while not being supportive of mine. And, and Mal's and Days. And it's like, that's fucked up. It's not just LG or LGB. Look, while they most likely 100% still would have that name, Day, uh, Day hasn't told them. I understand that Day hasn't told them. But they still would have. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that that's one they didn't know about. But Day but hasn't they told know. them because Day knows that like there's no point in telling yeah, them that because I they are transphobic. Next, I asked him about it. And if he had told them and he said, why would I? Yeah. And I was like, damn, yeah, you're right. And, and I understand why they did that because I did tell them and they don't care. Or they make a face. Yeah, or they make a face. So that was fun. But it was, but still it was a nice, it's so, so I tweeted about this. Yeah. I tweeted about this on Twitter and it's got a few like, <coughs> And uh, a little bit of this and that. But you know who, who wrote a really nice thing of acceptance to try and make me feel better? Mr. Lobo. Yeah? Yeah. And I, and I, and I really appreciate that. And, and let me tell you why. He has a, he has a trans son. And I, I, I used to know that son... Before they realized that they were trans. Before, before the transition, uh, we used to hang out at Mr. Lobo's house back in Sacramento. And so the fact that, like... They were, they were a kid's buddy. They were Mal's buddy. Yeah. Yeah, back in the day. And now they're both trans. And now they're both trans. Yeah. So it means a lot to me that Mr. Lobo would send some uh, words of support and encouragement to me on Twitter. Like, that is really nice. I understand why you did that, and I appreciate that you did that. Like, fucking... Okay. Ten points for Mr. Lobo. 
wasn't expecting to say that, but there you go. Yeah. So I was really happy about that. But but besides uh, uh, wrestles with gender and uh, misgendering, it was a really nice Christmas. Uh, I made a music playlist that we listened to all day that wasn't that insane. And it, I made I made like a three gigabyte movie that was just different cartoon uh, classic Christmas cartoon specials. So it's yeah. like Frosty the Snowman, and then Charlie Brown, and then the Grinch, and then Rudolph, and then like I I think Abed's claymation special from Communities on there, and that <laughs> we watched that all day, and that was a lot of fun. And I have this this holiday tradition where there's this Oklahoma brewed sour beer. I think it's called Slush. Yeah. And it's like a sour, it's like a strawberry lemonade sour beer. And I, I only drink it on the holidays. And it's just my one little tradition of myself. And it's like, oh, it's Christmas time. It's time to wrap presents and drink this weird sour beer. It's like my third year drinking this weird sour beer. So I had a good Christmas. How was your Christmas, Bunny? It was nice. We're getting ready for this holiday th thing. So that's in a week. So it's like final preparations because, you know, you make the calls for the holidays and then there's, there's arrangements that need to happen still. That kind of thing. Yeah. And things yeah. to work out. So it was nice. Nice. That was good. That's good. It was nice. We had a nice prime rib, which was fucking Ooh. delicious. Did you pour a glass of water on it? A glass make of it a sloppy water? Steak? Water. Yeah, make it a sloppy steak. You didn't have sloppy steaks? No. Oh, okay. I love sloppy steaks. Big rare cut of meat with water poured on it. Makes the night so much more fun. After the club, go get sloppy steaks at Trofani's and the waiters say, hey, no sloppy steaks. But they can't stop you from ordering a steak and a glass of water. And next thing you know, we're pouring water on those steaks. That is sounding so familiar, and I'm not it's placing it. Huh? It's from it's from season two of I think you should leave. My my vocabulary is about fifty percent Tim Robinson quotes now. <laughs> we were watching Charlie Brown's Christmas, and I'm like, oh great, a bald boy. I think I'm back in the pants. <laughs> And it's like I ate so much food that I feel like I'm a chunky. I'm going to take away your points and make you wear your own hat. That's a chunky. I'm also quoting, uh, I got really upset in a, on, on Christmas Eve because we're staying up and, and we're getting ready for Christmas and Mal sitting on the couch. And, and it's like, oh, I've turned on Netflix. Maybe I should watch something. And I'm just here in the corner going, smash, 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 smash. Watch smash. It's time to watch smash. We're all here. We're all in the living room. Put on Saturday morning all-star hits. This is my one chance. But no, they watched some weird documentary about aliens. It wasn't a documentary. It's a, what if we found life on other planets? And it was amazing. I imagine it's amazing, but God damn it, I wanted everybody to learn about Randy the Teenage Dinosaur. Can we and the create a criddle. They are lying to you because we didn't watch that until after. Wait, did we watch that first? Oh, we watched did that watch first. that first. Yeah, and I went to sleep before you guys started watching Bill Nye talk about. We didn't watch Bill Nye until after we watched Single All the Way, which was the gay, very yes. hallmark Christmas movie. Yes, I went to sleep. I wasn't the only one to watch it. I went to sleep halfway through the gay Christmas. <laughs> what was it called? Single All the Way. Single it All the Way. Okay. <laughs> it has all the truth. It's got the, there was only one head, fake, friend, 
Uh, and then there's, it could have totally ended up poly, and it didn't. God, the person that his mom said, oh, it had, what's her knocks in it? What's her name? Uh, I don't know, one. I wasn't watching it. The blonde one, uh, Stifler's mom. Jennifer Cougar. Cougar. Gen Coolidge. 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 Jennifer Coolidge. Had her in it. And it had one of the She's Sanderson big sisters. with the gays, so that makes sense. She's big with the gays. Had one of the Sanderson sisters in it as the mom, and like, it was pretty awesome. Oh, my, my big Greek wedding. That one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, but it was really good. And then we started watching Bill Nye, which fucking everybody needs to watch that Bill Nye show. You, you watched a, an entire series, and then you watched an entire movie, and then you started watching an entire another series, and you didn't watch no, no. Zazie Zaz, no, 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 and that no, no, just no, no, upset no. me on Christmas Eve. Listen, there was only four episodes in that episode in that series, but you still season, watched all of them. One. There's only one season. There's only four episodes. So you watched the whole season. Yeah. But there was only four. But you still watch the whole season. That's not even like a whole season. It's okay. supernatural. Okay. You can't. You can't. But you, you can't. still watch the whole season. I just wanted y'all oh, to watch and Skip and Treyborn. Fucking hell. You, you need the Skip and Treyborn experience. You really do. I never said I didn't want it. But it was Christmas Eve and I was going to watch a Christmas movie. I just want someone else in this house to sing Johnny Rad's hit single Shut Up With. Turn it into a duet. Johnny Rad is amazing. I He totally didn't kill that girl. Start doing your pop culture references through osmosis. Yeah. You know that. Yeah. Well, my pop culture references are pretty zuzzy zads. <laughs> yeah. But you need the context. We, it, I just want someone to, 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 to do Criddle Glitter with. Yeah, we need to do Criddle Glitter together. I never said I wouldn't. That brings the creativity out. I never criddle said glitter. I wouldn't. Okay. I'm on the record saying I never said I wouldn't. Okay. I it's a mess, to... but that's where the magic happens. You got that right. I love the shoes where you make the hole. That's a, that, oh, I still I can't. Yeah, you saw that commercial. It was only like three seconds. You don't get all the commercials because you're watching videotapes. And so whoever taped these things you're watching cut out the commercials. So you don't get a lot of commercials. You get bits of commercials because that's how it was back in VHS. I'm going to take this commercial out, but you might leave a little bit in before the show starts. Because you don't want to miss it. And now back to Smash. Yeah. Randy. Yeah. So, so that's all I've got for Bunny Versus. Single all the way. I'll, I'll try and remember that. Week. Yeah. I'll try and remember Single All the Way Did for you next tell Bunny Christmas. About the Oculus? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, Emerald's boyfriend, Jeremy, got a lot of money from the car accident he was in. And bought our family for Christmas, gave us an Oculus VR headset. Oh. How, how much is that shit? $300. $300? He's a very, okay, he's a very. I keep, hold on, I keep, I keep accidentally uh, unplugging the. Default microphone. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, he's a very giving person. He very is. caring and loving. And if it's like he's the type that will give you the shirt off his own back yeah. if you need it. And so he he likes to give people things. It's, I think it's one of his love, love languages. Yeah. You know. And our our two youngest like going over to his house and spending a day with Emerald and Jeremy. And, and his family. Yeah, and Jeremy has an Oculus headset, and Max and Eleanor will spend time playing with that. So Jeremy said, uh, gave us an, an Oculus headset, a very expensive Oculus headset for Christmas. And Eleanor's playing it right now. Oh, don't hey, hey, touch hey, okay, that. No, no, okay, no, no. you're about to hit the table. You need to back up. It's crazy. I haven't used it yet. I used it for a few seconds with Natasha. 
But... Oh my god, Bunny. If you have access to one of these, get so fucking high and then do one of the 360 VR. Like, I went, I went into the ocean. I was watching Waterfall before it died on me. Oh, that was the best. Uh, I, I went, like, zip lining. Oh. VR headsets are incredible for it when is, they're high. It is, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have, I don't think I have interest in it when I'm not, but, man, you get me, get me pretty high, put that thing on my head, and I'm gonna, I can watch that waterfall forever. Pass out in the VR <laughs> watching the waterfall. I'm, I'm just kind of amazed. I'm just thinking, like, you're walking through the cracks of doom, and the lava is flowing everywhere, and spewing up, and you're trying to make your way to where you could throw in the ring, and then all of a sudden your parents run up to stop you from walking into the coffee table. That is an yeah. awesome concept in and of itself. Oh, no, no. Yesterday, Eleanor put it on and uh, was doing a museum tour on YouTube. And so when you're doing these, these people have to have these, like, selfie sticks, and they're, way, they're like, right above their head, and, you know, it's recording 360. <laughs> Eleanor got Eleanor got the so shit scared out of her out. because she was doing a 360 YouTube video and she turned and realized that he's holding me. I don't like the way this feels. He's holding me. He's holding the camera and I'm the camera. And what if I fall? Yeah, they were I scared. Was dying. We had I had to take it off of her. Because off someone's of holding the 360 camera, which is your POV. So she's watching this, they're watching this video and it's all fun. And then they turn and realize, oh shit, some random stranger is holding me right now. And then they freak out because they're like, what if I fall? I can't look down. I'm, I'm so scared. And so I had to take the headset off and re <laughs> re-put them on something that they, they could actually watch without being afraid. Yeah. It I'm, was hilarious. I am, well, I'm hoping that later tonight I can use the Oculus and do some 360. Uh, there's a lot of 360 videos of people who just go on Disney rides. And it's like, shit, I want to go on Pirates. I'm going to go on fucking, oh, the Tiki Room? That would be great in VR. Yeah, I can't. There's, I can't. I'm going to just use it to go to Disneyland. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. And that's okay, because, I mean, the games are kind of expensive. The games are crazy expensive. So, yeah. Using it for 360 videos, I think, is probably the majority of what we're going to do. Yeah. I really want to buy Trover Saves the Universe, written by Justin Roiland, who co created Rick and Morty. You know, you're but that's like face, 30 bucks. Yeah, I know. Okay. I love the Bunny versus graphic with space. Thank you. That's something I was kind of playing with. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm really happy to finally have a background where that that has not yet been corrupted by capitalism. <laughs> Spies! So I'm really happy about that. Yeah, so this is this has been a very long act to yes. one. But, they, but it's our the, Christmas episode. Do We're to, not doing do it. Have to, they do have to watch Smash. You know, yes, I mean, they do. Thank you. Skip and Trebor. I'm part of the Skip and Trebor fan club now. You know? Yeah. And part of their Facebook book group. So, uh, Skip shoots me a video the other day, and it's Skip and Trebor. And they're like, Bunny! Wow. We just want to know what you think of self adhesive tape. Oh my god. Oh my god, what did you what did you say? They did. That's awesome. They what what did, did they say? What did you say? And I just looked back at them and I said Self adhesive tape? Yes, please. Nice. Nice. And cut on that. And cut on that.